Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out the Jarlink Heavy Duty Pencil Sharpener. Um, this was sent to me by Jarlink. I did not purchase this. They asked if I would check it out. Now you guys know me, um, whether it's sent to me or not, I will always be honest. So <laughs> don't worry about that. So it claims heavy duty, a five second fast sharpen, interesting, um, a large shavings box, durable helical blade. So let's get this open. I'm going to need my craft knife because when you have nails, these little doodads here never want to pop out. So the box is pretty heavy and it makes me wonder how big this thing is, but I've seen other people pull theirs out and theirs is way smaller, but this is not small. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. There we go. There is the Jarling. Holy cow. This thing is huge. I mean, look at that. My hand. Um, so they did let me pick the colors. I picked the white. All right. So it is a corded electric sharpener. This thing is heavy too, guys. Like wherever you place this is where you're going to want to leave it. Um, don't push too hard. More than five minutes. So they got a bunch of little tips on here. All right. Let's see, pull out the receptacle, it comes out easily. For such a big machine, that's kind of a small little reservoir. <laughs> but you know what, I'm really lazy about emptying mine, so bigger the better. Oh, does that thing go back in? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this thing is beefy. It's heavy, very heavy, so that box was not lying. All right, let's check it out. So, let's plug it in. This would be good, though, because then I can put one on my desk. Um, so let me grab some pencils that I need to sharpen. And the only thing is, I can tell you right off the bat, so I do have the AF mat. Um, the AF mat is going to take a lot of different sizes of pencils. This will not. Um, it doesn't have an expandable thing here. Like, my AF mat can take my square brutes. I don't. I don't see that fitting in there. I also wonder if my thicker like Holbein's and Coran Dash will fit. So I'm going to grab some of those each and let's check it out real quick. Okay. I grabbed just a few different sizes. So I did grab the Square Brute, a Derwent Lightfast. Derwent pencils are always a lot chunkier in diameter. I got a Coran Dash Luminance because that is also a little chunkier. And then I got a Prismacolor Premier because, um, I mean, my Artezas are about the same. In fact, I have some Arteza on my desk, so we can do that an Arteza as well. But they're about the same diameter. Polys, and then like my Pablos and stuff are smaller, so obviously they'll be fine. So let's see with the Prisma. I have kind of a icky little thing here. Now, whoa. Before you even put it in, it starts. <laughs> so, um, my biggest thing is I want to see what it does with the auto stop. Does it auto stop? I don't know. It doesn't say on there. So let's find out. I'm okay chewing up a Prisma because I got extra. So it doesn't auto stop like the AF mat, but you can feel it stop sharpening. So... Really good sharpen, actually. Um, is my camera focusing? Good sharpen, like the wood off to the side here is all smooth. So that's a good one. Okay. Okay. Did pretty good with the, again, the wood is nice and smooth. Come on, camera. Yep, nice and smooth, good point. So it starts the second you go in, um, and you do feel it suck in your pencil for a second, but it just keeps moving around. It doesn't suck it in any further. All right, let's try this Lumi. So here's the point I have on it right now. Oh, okay. Luminance won't fit. 
Let's try this light fast, but I guarantee it won't fit either. <laughs> and brute fooner. Nope. So you are basically Prismacolor is the chunkiest you're gonna get now. My Holbein is the same as the Luminance, so those won't fit either. So yeah, I mean, I have a couple more Artezas over here we could sharpen just to see. Nope, oh, it broke that one. Huh. So that one had to go in further because it broke off. Now, did the sharpener break it or the Arteza? That's hard to say because I'm not very gentle to my Artezas. I'm not going to lie. I do like it's sharpening fast. The wood is very smooth. So I'm actually not losing a ton of lead either. Um, in fact, let's take... Let's do some measuring. We need centimeters. Okay. So I'm going to take from the end of the circle point, not exactly the circle itself, but where it lines up. Okay, we're at 14, just point past 14 and a half. I just want to see how much lead loss when we sharpen this point. Okay, so now we're back to a point. And it brought me down to 14 and a half just to sharpen that much. Okay, so let's find another one. This one is obviously not as sharp as that point there. Okay, so let's see how much lead and wood we lose. So we're right at 14. Again, it doesn't suck it in any further than it needs to. Okay, now we have a nice sharp point just like this one. And just barely under. Okay, so we're not losing a ton there, but that one wasn't like super doled down. So let me find one of my Prismas that are in dire need of sharpening. Okay. So what I did was I grabbed one of my Prismas that's buddy taped. You know I buddy tape when they get too small to fit in the sharpener. So this is a brand new Prisma, right? So I'm going to go from, let me just break it off, it's buddy. Um, so I'm going to go from the bottom. And we are at 17, 1, 2, so 2 past 17 and a half. Okay, so this is the standard way it comes. Now one test I did was like the other sharpener I have is I took the factory sharpen, sharpened it and saw how much I lost. And with my other brand of sharpener, I didn't lose lead. It brought it down, but I didn't lose it. So oh, that's not all the way sharp. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we lose here. Yep, we didn't lose any. It's still the same. It went down just a teensy, teen, very negligible amount to bring it down from that factory sharpen to this point. So, and that's good. It doesn't chew your pencils. I know it seems that way because it sucks it in, but you got to remember it's moving fast. You are losing wood, but you can't really sharpen to a point like this without taking off some wood. <laughs> it's just impossible. Um, I've had, I've always had comments about that, and uh, wood loss is is always going to be there no matter what you use because if you don't remove the wood well what are you sharpening i mean you can't expose the lead without pulling that away um it does you know expose quite a bit of lead though so here's something to consider with a prisma color um i run all my prismas typically through an electric sharpener because they are off center see that how it is diagonal that's because this is off center the core is um so it's it's going to sharpen evenly and prevent breakage because often as you push on this end it starts loosening here and breaks this way so an electric sharpener of any sort is going to help with prisma breakage um but <clears throat> you know one thing is 
Prismas are not really meant to have crazy sharp points like this. Um, they tend to break pretty easily. Artezas hold up a little better. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it is what it is type of thing, but not too bad. So what do I think of the jar link? Um, well, first of all, this is one heavy, heavy duty thing. I have like an old school um, X-Acto sharpener and <laughs> it's heavy, but this is heavier, I think. <clears throat> so I've got some gripes. Um, most of my colored pencils aren't going to fit in here, just the smaller ones. Um, that said, it's not a you know big deal. This could be something I set on my desk for like my Prismas and I keep my AF mat around for the bigger. Uh, but like I said, I have an X-Acto that I can use that has a little dial and turns and changes. Now let's pull out the reservoir. It's pretty messy to pull out. It gets pretty dirty up in there. Um, but that's with a lot of sharpeners. But emptying this will get kind of messy. <laughs> because when I go to pull this out, I've already made a mess just pulling the reservoir out. And I haven't even dumped it yet. But one thing I've always had a concern about with these types of reservoirs when you pull them straight out like this is the helix sharpener here is just sitting there dangling and you know leaving all its goodies everywhere so I usually turn it that way after I pull it out go dump this but the problem is is when you flip it back over it all comes back out so it is going to be a messy one to empty whereas like my aft mat you just pop off the top and dump it in the trash um like there's no it's not messy um so this would work great if you have thin pencils um you know nothing past the diameter of a prisma or an arteza because i can't even fit a Karandash dash in there at all nope and i'm not going to force it because that's an expensive pencil so none of your square pencils, Coran Dash, no Derwent will fit in here except Chromaflow because those are thinner. But if you have a ton of Derwent, this isn't going to work for you. Um, and it even says pencil diameter 8 millimeters. So less than 8 millimeters is what it says. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love that Jarlink sent this to me uh, to try out for them. And I wish I could give them like a, a rave review. It's not bad, you don't lose a lot of lead, but the problem is, is if you're like me and you have a whole bunch of Derwents or Coran Dash or the Square Brutes, you're not gonna be able to use this sharpener um, just because it has that single hole there. And maybe the team at Jarlink will eventually change this. And if they do, then I would definitely recommend this. However, this will probably not be something I use a lot because um, even if I just left it on my art desk, uh, most of my pencils are not gonna go through this um and instead i'll probably put this on my office desk and bring my exacto in here because it has the adjustable so that i can use that for my larger ones and then my kids can use this for their crayolas and graphite so i do thank the team at jarlink for sending me this i wish i had like you know buy this it's amazing um but you know what i will reach out to my contact at jarlink let them know you know, some of my concerns and see if that's something they can work on. And I will report back to you guys and maybe like a little follow up review about, you know, their thoughts and what they might be able to do to fix that. Because really, that's my only concern. I just can't fit my bigger pencils. Um, so if they fix that, that would be groovy. I mean, I'm just nitpicky about the messy emptying of the reservoir, but I don't like to pull things out and just stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, if they fix the, the size, I think that would be excellent. And then this would be a pretty good thing to use. Um, you know, it's not wireless though. It is corded. Uh, honest, honestly, the best electric sharpeners are going to be corded. The battery ones, just once they start dying down, just, you know, struggle to work on your pencils anyway. So, yep, thank you, Jarlink, for sending this to me. I will be reaching out to my contact there to discuss and maybe see if it's a possibility to get a better opening. What's weird is 
on this model, the opening almost looks like it expands. Mm, yeah, it doesn't. See right there, it has a little line, almost like it expands out, but it also has lines going up and down. So, so yeah, that's my thought on the jar link. Um, and let if unless you literally only stick to these skinny pencils, this may not work for you. Let me know if you have a jar link, what your thoughts are, or if there's a different model you have that does have an opening that can handle other pencils, but definitely anything chunkier than a Prisma and Arteza is not going to go in here. My Pablos will go in here fine because they're skinny. Um, but yeah, I would say over 70% of my pencil collection is not going to fit in this sharpener. So that is a very important thing to consider and you'll have to look at the diameter of the pencils you own before you consider this one. All right guys, well that is my unboxing and review of the Jarlink. Um, thank you to the team at Jarlink for sending this. Of course, I always appreciate when companies send me things to try out. Um, and yeah, I will be in touch after I speak with the team at Jarlink about this. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye now.